the HXL 15 foot blue horizon is back up for grabs. Guys, one lucky subscriber somewhere during this year is going to win this rod. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hello guys and welcome back to another Mombak Monday. Sorry guys, we didn't have a video last week, we didn't have a fishing video, we didn't have a Mombak Monday. Life was just a bit hectic in the past two weeks, didn't get much sleep. So for you guys that have just checked in on Zuluk fishing for the first time, I started recently uploading two videos a week. Mombak Monday is all about fishing tips and tricks. Uh, we just discuss a little bit of tackle, rods, reels, braids, all different um, kinds of things and um, then on a Wednesday I upload a fishing video and you guys can share in some of my experiences on what I've caught and what I have not caught. Just all about fishing on this channel. Three weeks ago um, I started a new range of videos with the Mombak Monday and that is discussing the Assassin Horizon Zero range. Started off with the medium and we're going to work our way through all the way to the triple XH. So we already done the medium, the medium heavy and the heavy in the 14 foot ranges. After this series of videos, we're gonna have a look at the Equinox, the Bluefish Special, maybe the Solar and a little bit of the of the less expensive um, Assassin rods in the Assassin range. So the rod that I'm we're discussing this week is my absolute favorite rod in the whole Assassin's Zero range. It's a rod that I absolutely cannot put down. I, I can't go without it in my arsenal and I absolutely love the rod. I, I use it basically every time that I go and fish. And that is the Assassin Ryzen Zero HXL 15 foot heavy. Four to six ounce. And um, I absolutely love it. It's, it's uh, like I said, I can't put it down. Before we get into the video, let's roll a little intro. Okay guys, what's the fuss around the HXL 15 foot horizon? Assassin has put a lot of effort into the design as well as the development of the rod. It took quite some time to develop this rod to get the perfect action that we require in a 15 foot 4 to 6 ounce rod. You can't take, you can't just take the 14 foot um, heavy and just extend it. The rod's going to be way too floppy, it's going to be like fishing with um, wet spaghetti. Uh, you're not going to get the desired action that you require. So basically what Assassin did is it's three different blanks in one blank or in one rod. The tip section, the mid section and the base of the rod is different composites or a different blend of HMC and a mixture of glass and whatever composites that I use to make the blank and the reason why they did that is to get that like i said in all my videos is to get that perfect parabolic bend but not compromising on backbone and um, getting the rod too soft so that you can't load it with a bigger bait or putting that extra little bit of effort into reach that further banks so um, that's why they did what they did with basically three different um, using three different blends of materials in each section is to get that um, perfect action but i don't like i said in these videos i don't want to go in too much um, details of the rod or too much technical stuff it is basically just to discuss where do you use the different actions of the rod and what reel do you pair it with what braid suits the reel and rod combination the best 
So, a little bit of the, on, on the specs of the rod, you get two versions. Two versions are identically the same. It's just the color that differs. Um, you get it in the blue. And just want to take the rod out. You get it in the blue, the dark blue, just like his smaller brother, the 14 foot. And then you get it in the Pretoria edition green. Um, the actions of the rod, the guides of the rod, the real seat, the bony finger, everything is exactly the same. The only difference is the color of the rod. So if you like the green, buy the green. If you like the blue, buy the blue. Just make sure when you buy the blue that you're buying the HXL and not the 14 foot heavy if you're looking for the 15 foot heavy. The HXL is the 15 foot. So, it again comes in a nice protective bag, nice zips, a real robust zips. I uh, don't want to talk too much about the bag, I'm talking about the rod. Uh, like all the other Zeros, come standard fitted with the Fuji real seat, Assassin Bionic Finger already fitted, EVA grip and Fuji anti-tangle guides with the SIC inserts. The SIC inserts um, what makes them special is that they're a lot smoother, less friction on your braid and makes your braid last a lot longer than any other guides. Um, rod joins with spigot joints, like all the other, just want to put this in, like all the other um, horizons. You guys can see that gap there, I've mentioned in the previous video, that gap is supposed to be there. It is not for your, it's for your rod not to get a clicking sound over the years and the joint to get worn out, to get worn out. As your rod goes in and out, in and out, it might wear down a little bit and cause your rod to, to, to make a clicking noise with the speaker joints. It doesn't happen because it will move really small amounts closer, closer, closer over the years and you'll always have a rod that fits perfectly. So that's why I love the speaker joints. They're also really strong. And then it allows the rod developers to keep the rod um, fairly thin and to give it that nice parabolic bend that we want. Uh, so you guys that have been following the channel for quite some time, have seen me quite catch quite a variety of fish on, on the heavy. That is because I absolutely love the rod. It is light, it throws really well, and um, yeah, you know, it's just it's just one of those rods that when you pick it up you want to fish it and you just enjoy it. So the things that I target with the rod and why the rod is designed, it's basically designed for that intermi intermittent fishing, going over from your edibles into your non-edibles. So you're gonna target um, your smaller non-eds like blue rays, hammerhead sharks, um, grays, your smaller grays. Um, your, your smaller bronzies and when you have hook a bigger fish like let's say you, you're scratching around and you're fishing for uh, um, sand sharks or lessers or whatever during a competition and you hook a big duck ball or you hook a big diamond or you hook a big raggy anything for that matter for a, a big fish you, you can be more than confident that the rod is going to handle it with ease um, I haven't caught a really big fish on the heavy I've caught a 60 kilo duck ball ray on it and, it and you guys that have caught a duck ball ray before um, knows that a duck ball ray is quite a strong fish. I've caught quite a couple of duck balls on, on it while fishing for cob and um, it handles it beautifully but like I said the biggest fish was a 60 kilo duck ball and a duck ball is a really strong fish and the rod handled it with ease and um, it was such a pleasure to to um, fight a fish on it that um, yeah, I, I don't want to put the rod down, like I said. For edibles, it is really great for long throws, reaching the back banks, fishing for big cob, steenies, um, muscle crackers, especially for big cob. If you want to throw a big live bait or a live mullet uh, or big octopus baits, it handles it really easy and um, it throws it really nice without having a rod that is too heavy. Because a lot of the times you need a rod, um, you, you either have a rod to fight the fish or you have a rod because you need the bait a little bit further or the rod to be able to throw a bigger bait. And that's exactly what this heavy HXL can do. 
it is still light enough to enjoy the fight on your edibles like muscle crackers, like steel brass cob, but still has enough backbone and enough power to throw a big bulky bait for those fish. It is one of those rods that if you are a competitive angler, you can't go without it to a nationals or a league. It just absolutely uh, fits into competitive angling perfectly. That for those days that you, you want to scratch but you quickly want to take your trace off and you want to throw for a duck ball or you want to throw for a hammerhead shark or grays or whatever, hound sharks, whatever is biting the day and um, you don't want to compromise distance or you don't want to compromise um, the speed that you pull a fish because everything in competitive angling is about work rate and how fast you can make your next try really fits in well into competitive angling also where, where the rod works really well if you're a junior angler and you're looking for that little bit of distance in an all-round rod um, the HXL is definitely the, the way to go if you're a lady angler also looking for a little bit of more distance for a rod for your bigger fish the Ryzen HXL would be my first choice it is really really a rod for everyone especially for your competitive anglers but that doesn't mean that for the social anglers or guys that are targeting um, edible fish or just one uh, a general all-round rod um, that this rod is not for you it is a perfect rod if you or a keen edible angler and you want to maybe if you want to use two setups in the surf one lighter run for fishing for cob and um or whatever and then use this as your second rod to use for a big cracker or big cob or steamras throwing um, a crab which is not a not always a, a, a really nice bite to throw it's 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 an uncomfortable bite um because it's so bulky and not really aerodynamic you need to force it quite a, quite a lot and with the heavy you can do that with ease if there's a bank way far out you you know you will reach that back bank using this for that little bit of extra distance this rod really throws so well the HXL is rated 4 to 6 ounce and it's rated for braids PE2 to PE4 um, that basically means it's for braids 30 to 50 pounds. I found that a four ounce for this rod it's not doing its justice at all. It, it's way too light throwing a four ounce with this rod. Five ounce yeah, still doesn't do it justice. I wouldn't fish a five ounce on it although I have thrown a five ounce with it in, in the past. To me it doesn't feel it doesn't load um, like it should. Maybe if you're going to throw quite a big bait you can use a five. If you're going to clip your bait if you're going to throw a live mullet with a five ounce it's not going to pull the live bait to go i found that a six ounce on this rod throws really well and if you're throwing smaller baits you can go with a, even a seven ounce i've thrown seven ounces with this rod and um, it flies it just absolutely flies so like i said there's there's not many rods that is capable of throwing a six ounce and a seven ounce um, sinker with ease and comfort and still being light enough to target your edible fish like crackers and um, and big cob and be light and sensitive enough so this is really it deserves the word special on it because it's really a special rod so just want to put it down if you want to find its sweet spot I reckon a six ounce sinker is the optimal way to throw with it um, you can throw a 7 ounce if you prefer and if you're throwing quite big bait like a, a bonny head or a soda soda head or just a diamond sized bait I wouldn't go with a 7 ounce I would rather go down to a 6 ounce sinker um, for that distance and to load the rod properly um, real sizes that you um, can use on the rod it depends on what you're going to use it for and what you're going to target like I said we're going over from your lot from your large edibles over into your smaller to medium size non-eds like I said it's capable of landing really big non-edibles as well so that's going to determine what you or what real size you're going to use on on the rod in the previous videos I said um, I'm just going to discuss the three main brands in South Africa Shimano, Daiwa as well as Pen. I'm a Shimano fan or I use Shimano reels 
So in the Shimano range, uh, to me, in the Shimano range, I prefer to use a 10,000 with 14,000 spool. Like you guys have seen in my previous videos, I have a couple of extra spools for my, for my reels. And that works really great. I just take one or two spools with, with different braid sizes and um, a different size spool as well. And I just fit it on my um, 10,000 and I can interchange them to suit the conditions or the day that I am fishing. So to me, it balances perfectly with a 10,000 with a 14,000 spool. Then I prefer to use 30 pound JDB Ultra Tough on it. Because I'm using the, surf, the rod mostly in the surf and mostly for long throws, I prefer to use the 30 pound. Um, the 30 pound JDB Ultra Tough throws really well. It's thin and it still has the abrasion resistance that um, I, um, in the rocks for um, to pull the fish quite hard in between the rocks. Because it's a US spec braid, it actually breaks over 40 pounds. A 30-40 pound on the rod is ideal. You can use 50 as well. When I fish for muscle crackers in between the rocks, I take a 14,000 spool and I have 50 pound um, JDB Ultra Tough on it. And you don't need to throw really far for muscle crackers. So that 50 pound, you're not compromising any distance or you're not, it doesn't make, it doesn't have an impact because you don't have to throw too far. Um, so it's 50 pound in the rocks when I'm fishing for cracker. In the surf, ideally, and general fishing on the rocks, making long throws for hammerheads, gray sharks and fish like that, I like to use 30 pound JDB Ultra Tough. And then, so if you're going to use a pin slammer, spin, spin fisher, um, uh, anything in the pen range you'll look at the 6500 the 6500 will suit it um, really well if you're a diver fan if you're using something like the saltest or the bgs um, you're going to look at the 6000 size reel that will balance quite well so just have a look when you purchase the reel that it's quite similar size to a 10,000 or 14,000 shimano reel but if you're going but if you're going to use the rod for for your bigger non edibles um, you can use something like a 20,000 Stella, 20,000 Saragoza, 8,500 or a 7,500 Spinfisher or Slammer and also the 8,000 in the Dawa range and loaded with 50 pound braid and you're ready to go to land some really big fish on it. Um, you can even use up to like a 65 pound if you're going to target big bronzes or big tuck pull on the rocks and, and that. Um, it will work with 50 pound. Remember the the rating that they specify on the rod is just an indication of where the rod performs optimal. But you can tweak it a little bit if you want to. You can slightly you can go slightly over the rating, slightly under the rating. Um, it doesn't mean that you only have to use the recommended sinker weight. Um, also, do remember that uh, the four to six ounces is the sinker weight only. So if you're going to use a six ounce sinker, um, the weight is excluded the bait. Um, I said it in my previous videos on the horizon as well. It's not the total weight of your bait and your sinker. It's just um, your sinker weight excluding the bait. Yeah, guys, just that's that's basically it about the rod. Um, you guys seen me rave about it, so you know um, it's basically my favorite rod in the assassin range. Like I said, I can't put it down. Uh, great rod for junior anglers to get more distance. For a lady anglers using it as a heavy rod for, and for extra distance, great rod for that. Competitive angling, brilliant rod for your competitive angler. And then for what it is designed, your smaller to medium non-edibles and your medium to big edibles. It is, it is really nice throwing live baits, big um, octopus baits really really nice and um, Jörg, um last year I had a competition where I wanted to give away the 15 foot horizon heavy HXL um, in the blue color Adam Stein was the winner gave Adam Stein um, some time till end of December to contact me to claim his rod uh, as not claimed his rod yet or hasn't claimed me or hasn't made contact with me so the HXL 15 foot blue horizon is back up for grabs guys one lucky subscriber somewhere during this year is going to win this rod so 
Make sure that you subscribe to the channel to stand a chance to win this rod. Um, it's really, really an amazing rod. It's worth eight and a half thousand rand. So it is a really big prize. And um, I don't know how I'm going to give it away yet. I'm still thinking of some ideas. If you guys have some ideas, please leave that in the comment section and um, I'll consider a way to um, give it away. But it is up for grabs. One lucky subscriber. So hit that subscribe button. Yeah, so guys, that is it from my side. Um, new fishing video on Wednesday. Um, yeah, got my one of my merchandise shirts on, like a hoodie. You can see there, really comfortable. Um, I wear it all the time. I fish in it, I spin in it, um, do some spinning in it. And um, yeah, I just enjoy it. Some hats, buffs, I don't have a buff here. All sorts of different um, merchandise or clothing. And um, I'm busy doing a couple of new designs. So if you guys are interested in buying some of the, the ZLF merchandise, um, pop me an email and I'll send you a catalog. Also, don't forget to have a look at the Still Fishing website. That is Still Fishing. It's one of the caps. Um, I have a look at their website. It's www.stillfishing.com. Um, enter the promo code ZLF and through that you can support my channel a little bit and it helps me to generate these videos or cre create these videos. So I highly appreciate that and thanks for all of you guys that I have supported Still Fishing and the online store using my promo code ZLF. The link will also be in the, in the description. If you use that link, um, you don't have to use the ZLF promo code. But yeah, I think I reckon that is it. Um, let me know in the comment section how I should give the HXL away. Um, okay, I will appreciate some, some good ideas, but it has to be fair. And um, yeah, please subscribe. See you guys on Wednesday.